So I was inspired by Cory Dahlman and um, her slow stitching notebook that she made. She used canvas and doilies. But I just used some vintage fabric and lace and various things that I had in my stash. And I just wanted to do a, a little flip through. So this is the cover. And I just actually sewed the three pages in with a um, <laughs> like a three uh, crazy eight stitch, like you do in a paper journal. But uh, anyway, I think it'll be secure enough. You could also sew it down with the machine, but I just liked the look of the hand sewn look. And these are just three layers of fabric. And I did put um, a layer of inside here. I did put, I layered together some um, quilt batting. And then this is the inside cover. Um, it's a fabric that I had. And then in this front pocket, I have a little um, slow stitch junk journal that I got, that I bought on Etsy from Gina at, uh, doo -doo -doo. let's see, there's a piece of my fabric in there. <laughs> uh, Gina at, um, oh boy, I can't think of the name of her thing right now. <laughs> Recycled books, that's not it. If it comes to me, I'll tell you. Anyway. And then just some buttons. And then these are just some pieces of fabric that I could do some slow stitching on. A little magnifying glass so I can see my needle. <laughs> the Rebookery. That's Gina's channel. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't think of the Rebookery for some reason. Alright. So, I put three um, pages in. And I'll explain in a minute how I made the pages. Um, in Corey's, she used um, canvas, which was a little bit sturdier. And you could reinforce these, but I kind of like the softness of the pages. So the first page is um, uh, cross-stitch cloth that I dyed um, with marigold. And on the first page, um, I, I really liked the idea of just using safety pins to put a lot of different ephemera and... Um, notions in here. So this is just some different ribbons and fabric scraps that I just pinned right here. And then these buttons, these pins, I mean, have buttons on them and they're in like a little, yeah, they're in a little uh, loop. I just took some uh, bias tape and sewed it on. I, I really didn't, um, Corey does a better job of thinking it through and planning ahead. I just kind of added features that I liked and then I filled it up with stuff. <laughs> so I didn't put as much stuff like on the pages. I just pinned stuff in for some interest and to have there. So what I like about this pin is you put the buttons on the pin and then you put the pin, um, safety pin head through the loop and then, then you can pin it shut. And I just did mine every other way. Yep, and so then those are some um, sequins. And this is a piece of dyed um, silk. Uh, sorry, silk. Um, this was a uh, part of a um, tape measure that I got at a thrift store. And I just cut it down. And I actually can measure with it. So that's kind of cool to have a little built-in ruler. And then on this side, I sewed um, a little um, organza bag and put various things inside of it. So this was wrapped around this button that came undone. So it's just some fun, soft yarn, some ribbon, some old uh, vintage, um, what is this, like crocheted tatting stuff and a nice velvet ribbon. Um, on this page, uh, this page was made out of, um, it was uh, some like canvas that was already colored. It was like a, a 12 by 12 sheet and then I added some different coffee dyeing and different things or maybe eco dyeing. I can't remember now, it's been a while. Huh, my little butterflies. Yeah, that was a piece of ribbon. Then here I um, didn't want to put a lot of um, embroidery floss in. But I just wanted to put some ones in that I might be interested in using right now. And so this is um, actually some silk thread. And I just took um, this 
this uh, plastic mat that you, it's a cutting mat that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. There's two in a package. And uh, I, I uh, you can see sometimes I was able to and sometimes I wasn't, but I really pushed with my punch, my oval punch and made little, um, little things because I didn't want to go to the store and buy the little bobbins for, for my thread. And then I just punched a hole in it my crocodile and then I got a bulb pin to just pin it in and I just um kind of decorated both sides of the pages before I sewed them into this book and then I went in and pinned in the stuff that I wanted so like this one I sewed this butterfly ribbon all the way across the bottom before I sewed it into the book I sewed this on here before and I didn't really worry about seeing the stitching on the back side because it just kind of blended in because I had yellow thread in the bobbin. And the same here. And I sewed these on two things separately, but it gave it a lot of interest because I have zigzags all over the rickrack, so I like that. So those are my little threads. Over here I had this uh, little uh, scissors that hook on when you're sewing in to trim your threads that you can hook onto your shirt or jacket and but I put it in here so then I always have a pair of scissors in here and these pages were two like coasters here you're supposed to put like a little um, tea bag and then you put your tea mug on this side and um, I just um, didn't really use them for that so I thought that we and I, I really like them so I put them in here and they were pretty so and uh, I just used them as pages and I just basically took a piece of white um, like uh, bias tape and some white felt and just sewed it together like you would two pieces of paper and made it into one whole sheet <laughs> and then on this side I put I just I actually just glued these I glued a piece of felt and a ribbon and then I just put pins in there these are glass head pins and some needles and then on this side I have um I just, I, I didn't really feel like putting needles on one place. I just kind of put them throughout the, the book. Everybody has a different preference on that. And I'm gonna take that needle out for a second. And these are just some patches that I could sew on. And I had this cute little um, hanger paper clip. Just kind of hold them in. I just was gonna take stuff out. And then these were um, the same idea, except that I uh, put a, um, a grommet on the top of them with little star grommets that I had and then these again I just glued the edges of the felt cut them out with pinking shears and then put ribbon to decorate each one of them and then on this one I just tuck this these into that one so they don't flop around as much again I just pinned them in with bulb pins and then this one down here I decided to put the um the patches in and I put this pin in here because the patches were trying to to fall out so and then I can put that needle back okay except that now I can't pick up the needle <laughs> all right there we go and then just put the needle there and turn the page and on this page I just have a safety pin with all kinds of different pins on it I have a seam ripper in case I want to rip out some uh, stitching and then this was just some like um, bakery twine and I just wanted this to be this pocket to hold things in it a little better so by having it stuffed more things stayed in better these um, this side I took these were just like um, these iron-on patches and I just made them into a pocket and just zigzagged around it and put a little flower there and then I just stuffed some goodies in there so I have some mini buttons and some so on um like jewelry beads and um a, a sewing pencil that you can mark the you know a pattern on to your piece of fabric or whatever and i had those back here with the scissors too i have a blue and a white one so that way if you have different colored fabrics or dark fabrics you have different colors to use on this one the page was um not quite long enough to match, like, you know, when you fold it. So I just added a piece of the, um, sewed on a piece of the, mm, cross stitch material. And then on this side, I actually sewed these both on at the same time. So then I just kind of pinned them in and then made sure they were together and, and zigzagged 
um, so that was fun. And then I just later added this little piece of textured um, embroidered ribbon. And then I had some more buttons with some cool graphics on it. And this is some like uh, tatting thread. And I just took a piece of cardboard that had, you know, stuff from this, I guess it was the packaging from these. And I just cut it out like a spool and wound that around there, the tuck in there. And then I like this um, kind of yarn thread. And so I just, just pinned that in. And then I have some bigger um, eyed needles and one that a darning needle and another little needle. And some, I just paper clipped some snaps in. Then on this side, I just decorated, I glued that um, there where I had sewed the um, felt on this side. I just glued this ribbon inside the stitching. And there's the butterfly ribbon again. I pinned some more buttons. And you can see the other, you know, needles and pins from the other side, but that doesn't bother me. I think that's cool. And then the last pocket I have, um, I came up with this idea when I was on a, a trip and I had all these uh, embroidery flosses with me and I didn't have any place to store them. And I never thought of this before because normally you have like, you know, a big box of um, embroidery thread, but I just took a piece of cardboard and I uh, hole punched each edge, half circles, and then I wound the thread around. But this to me is kind of like a palette, you know, a palette of colors, kind of like a watercolor set or something. So now I have them all in one place and I don't have to go rummaging through a box to find them. So I really liked that idea. And I just sewed and hand sewed and sewed some stuff together, a ribbon and fabric and buttons to cover up the thread so it doesn't come undone. And then I have some, I'm, I'm looking for like, you know, cool ways to wrap different ribbon and stuff into the book. So this was a set of buttons and I just thought I wanted this ribbon in there. So I wrapped it around the button. And this is another big piece of uh, muslin so I can sew on. And this is some cool um, pro promotional needles that a friend gave me. And I've taken most of them out, but there's one left in there. And it's cool because it's from St. Louis. And that's where I'm from. And then this is, um, she gave me uh, some instructions on slow meditative stitching. And funny thing, I had pulled the same article out of a magazine. <laughs> so I have, so my mom found this, and so I have, have both. <laughs> and I was keeping those in there just as inspiration and as a memory of um, my friend and my mom encouraging me in my uh, desire to do some slow stitching and to learn a new skill. So I put that there, put everything back in. And so that is my slow stitching kit. And I really like it. And I hope that you'll go over to Corey Dahman's um, channel and watch um, her, how she put hers together and learn from her. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.